All right, here's a little project. We're gonna repower this thing with a side shaft, uh, six and a half horsepower motor. And a CV transmission. Uh, it's pretty butchered up. I'll bring this out to the front yard where there's better lighting and find the bits and pieces and put it together here and show you guys what we're planning to do with this thing. All right, so the only thing missing is the seat and the rear tire and the rim assembly. I think my nephew can dig those things up. But uh, anyways, I got thinking about this the other day and this was laying around here for a while and thought it'd be kind of fun to repower it. I got, of course, other dirt bikes and motorcycles, but. Uh, my son's getting older he's two and a half he likes putting around with his nephews and so he rides on the bike with me and i thought this would be kind of fun to get going for just putting around the trails here and i had a lot of these extra parts laying around here even though it's predator motors in the box the whole bottom's all wet from sitting in my shop on the floor for probably two years bought this six and a half horsepower motor with the intentions of building and I may still do this at some point I just don't have enough time anymore to do this kind of stuff having my little son he's a big priority to me and uh, building a secondary sawmill just for a YouTube video wasn't as much of a priority but the original idea was to build a tiny mill portable mill off the shelf parts and that's why I got this but I can always use it on that project later on but you can see it's been sitting around here the whole bottom's all rotted out of this thing so it's probably good to get this thing out and uh some fresh air and to get it running anyways with the quad truck video i'm not sure if you guys have seen any of that stuff when i first started working on it i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to adapt the transmission to it or not and if i didn't i bought this as a backup plan but never ended up using it it's a cv transmission belt drive system bolts right onto one of these things so we're gonna take all these parts here today and weld up a simple little frame and mount this engine in it and hopefully get scooting around here so stick around check out the video guys hey michael i, I think i found what you're looking for what you got oh dude you I found the parts got it all here nice dude i appreciate that just set it down anywhere in a pile of junk and uh, we'll make do with it all right here it is a little awkward this is going to be coming off here shortly. The air box and carburetor, I'll probably end up grafting on a XR200 carb like I did on the quad truck because it sticks out so wide. It's not that graceful of a machine here, but it's probably a lot better than what those old uh, mini bikes kids used to ride around in the 60s and 70s with no suspension and little tiny tires, the go-kart tires on them. This side's actually a little cleaner. I've got the CV transmission bolted on here. And I got this about as far as I want to bring this cylinder head right up to this. It's, uh, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch gap here. The sprocket lines up pretty well with the old chain path. This is old bent-up chain. I think that's all stiff length. I'll order a new one. But if you look down it, it's a pretty straight line right to the CV sprocket there. The muffler I had to pull off. It was just so damn big. So I got rid of that, and I'm going to do something else. Kind of like mock up what the XR had originally. And originally we cut the frame off for the XRCR conversion. So I'll have to do some new frame tubes down here and put an engine mount plate down below. I got this piece of uh, thin wall, an uh, inch and a quarter I think tubing, cut at the right angle for just a straight drop down off of the frame here. And this will get gusseted up a little better. This gas tank mounts in the way and these are $100 motors so I don't really care about cutting this off. Later on I'm going to yank out the governor anyways. Um, we're going to get cut in here. All right, you guys, if you enjoy the project so far, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to click that notification button as well. I post a video about every week or so. And stay tuned for the next project. We got our down tube tack welded on here. We got this little tube cut out, some notches in it to fit on this old motor mount. It's going to get welded into place here. We got this guy that is going to, well, I got a little 45 cut on here, an extra flap of metal. So I'm going to tack this side in. 
and the bar on the back side is going to go off at a slight angle. I'll show you guys that next. So the way I cut these, I cut them at 45, but I left these wings on it here. The idea is I'm going to weld up these joints right here and then heat these with the torch and bend these in for a little extra gussety and then fill in the end tubes here. It works pretty well. I did that on the uh, Liam's XR 120 project. All right, got the engine plate cut. Now I'm just gonna mark the holes on here and drill them really quick, bolt them onto here and set the motor in, make sure everything's aligned just right and then weld it in. The chain alignment was pretty easy to work out here. And the motor's uh, temporary mounted in here. I'm gonna pull the bolts and weld that plate incomplete and uh, actually come along pretty good. on here this is off a of CR80 and a bunch of header pipe from the XR100 and I would have to say just doing this damn header on here was harder than probably uh, mounting the whole engine in the frame but I'm gonna pull that thing off it's all spot welded I'm gonna pull it off and TIG weld the rest of the muffler on there all right you guys my voice sounds all messed up uh, I just got over a little bit of I'm getting over a cold and I kind of lost my voice a bit Anyways, um, I didn't shoot the shots of the, me building the pipe for this thing, the muffler, but it's all hooked up on here now. Uh, we're waiting on a chain, which just showed up today in a carb for this thing. But I'm going to fire it up so you guys can hear it real quick, and then we're going to throw the chain on. It should be able to rip around the yard a little bit. So what I plan to do is uh, leave the stock carb on there and everything like that, rip it around here, ride it. I'm sure I'm going to probably have to do some sprocket changes, get the gear ratio right. Um, I want to check it out for a little test spin, see what the top speed is, feel what the power feels like. And then we're going to fit the XR200 carb on probably in the next video. Pull off the governor and trick it out a little more, see what kind of top speed we get out of it and a little more power. Um, I don't know if we'll do a camera or not, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna fire it up, take a first little lap around here. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it because uh, the back tube's been popped. I forgot to get a tube today, so I'll pick one up after work. I don't want to destroy the tire. the motorbike yeah. you like riding motorbikes yeah all right no real reason to keep this thing on anymore no more clutch
go for a ride. This thing's pretty damn fun, man. I like it. All right, so. To kind of explain why this bike was engineless and I started on this project to mount this engine in. Quite a few years ago, this is my nephew Liam. He had this bike and we tricked out the motor as an XR100. We tricked out the motor, put a BBR120 kit in it and hopped it up and put a nice exhaust and different carb on it. But he outgrew the bike so quick that we ended up getting this CR80 that had a locked up frozen up crank on it. Pulled the engine and re-welded the frame to fit the BBR120 engine in here and made him a really good trail bike. And this thing's been sitting for a few years with part of the frame cut off. And I felt like it was kind of a shame because it was a great little kid bike. And by doing this engine swap, it would brought back life back into this machine. This is a simple swap that I think any dad and son could do over a weekend. And with the engine on sale for about a hundred bucks and the transmission is about 50 bucks on eBay, it's a pretty affordable project to get any small bike up and going again. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe and uh, stick around for some more additions. We're gonna hop this thing up on the next video. We're gonna put a bigger carb on it and uh, take off the governor and maybe do some other tuning on it. So uh, keep an eye out for that video as well. Take care guys. Bye. Yeah.